Um, that was Aaron. Um, so, so in, in other words, um, the way I translated what the Hopi message was is that one leads to self-destruction and the other one leads to what? Spiritual ascension. And what we mean by ascending, it means that you're, the increase in your vibrational speed, which is your torque speed, which is your drive motor, is going faster because now you're vibrating at a higher rate of speed. And the higher the rate of the vibration that is represented by what is known as your core, okay, your core, which is what I call a blast furnace, which means that the single point from which you were born into creation, which is the center point of a cross, which is the center point of a sphere, which is the center point of a living cell. When that cell is lit on fire by the spirit of fire, because you don't want to be held captive to something that is lower in density, which is lower in density consciousness, then it might behoove us to eliminate the mass at the highest rate of speed. Whoa. Eliminate the mass at the highest rate of speed. Well, another way to put that would be you're burning it off. So this is where you get into just how intelligent the highest intelligence is that is represented by the hottest engine, which is what love is. So when you're learning by choosing the pathway to learn through the hottest engine, which is the hottest creative engine, because what drives the highest intelligence is the hottest engine of creation. Because now we're back to density, because now we're back to the pathway of least work or least effort, which means allow the universe to go to work for you instead of trying to force things, control things, which means let it go, which means let it flow. That's why we don't put collars, leeches, chains, cages around anything that is free in nature. Because how am I ever going to get to know a giraffe and become playmates with a giraffe to speak the language of a giraffe? Unless the giraffe can trust my energy. And when the giraffe has an antenna that is experiencing the vibration, the frequency of my operating system, is experiencing eternal, unconditional love, then that giraffe will know from whence it came. That means that that giraffe and that lion and that whale and that dolphin and that bird and other beings know that it can trust you because it's experiencing eternity. Because it can read the energy. That's called energy communications. So when we talk about pathways with the Hopi, he was making it quite obvious that the more that you're accumulating off of us, what it is that we're gifting you as photons kick out electrons, then that is an inverted state of mind because it perceives its state of spiritual being, which is its power, to the accumulation of the electrons that it's storing and accumulating and putting in bank accounts off of us. The source from which all photons kick out electrons. So as a result of that, instead of losing mass and gaining speed in vibrational core frequency vibration to go brrr, spiral up into higher density, Multidimensionally, from galaxy to galaxy, universe to universe, is going to be based on what? The purity. By your speed of getting rid of lower density that the mind has been held captive to as a result of those that are integrated with artificial light intelligence. That's right. That's exactly right, because it's binary. It is not trinary, 
nor does it experience eternity. So you realize, as I did as a child, I'm wanting to return home, even though home is where the heart is, because I'm experiencing eternal unconditional love through my heart by default means that I could sit on my ass at four years of age and just watch everything destroy itself while I'm still standing. Which means the universe is still spinning around me because my pole is still spinning around me because a monopole, which is a single pole, is experiencing eternity. So now you understand how painful it is when you come into a fallen, contaminated zone of how many units of consciousness are being held captive by those that are seeking a material pathway in which they're gaining density and losing speed, where we're giving away energy and gaining speed and losing density. And the torque speed difference between the two is how fast one is learning through the other. So in this case, we're back to learning. They learn through machines, which is a slow learner, versus eternity, which is on fire, in order to lose density and ascend. This is where Patty Broussard mentioned one time about the Elven. If you've ever gone to Project Ascension and seen some of the videos that are up there, Patty Broussard mentioned worse how Eve, which is Gaia's mother, uh, lives a half a dimension out. Right? And that's where the elven are. And Patty showed us a picture of the elven and said that they were freshwater, but they were not only freshwater, but they were not seeking to go higher, if you will, which means they were perfectly comfortable and happy being in the realm upon which they came in to be. Right? So this would be much like the gentleman that I met down here at La Poe Beach Park one day who was there with his... Um, his daughter, and I believe it was her daughter's boyfriend. They looked like they were maybe in their 20s. This guy looked like he was maybe in his mid-50s. And we had a short little conversation about what we call realities, the reality that we're experiencing, and whether you would choose of your own free will to use your creative mind in which to experience something that is different than what their mind is being held captive to, that they're giving energy every day in which to experience. Now we're back to free will. Because I remember, what's his name? The guy in the Basics Projects, bless your heart, Max Spears, who was a super soldier, who talked about and mentioned a couple words called, oh, they love their density. They love their density. They prefer being in lower density. So if you think of free will in lower density, then you can imagine how this works between loss and gain of density and mass, right? higher spiritual pathways, going faster, and maintaining the balance, right? Maintaining the balance. Maintaining the balance in a star system, a solar system. Maintaining the balance in a constellation. Maintaining the balance within a galactic, a galaxy. From one galaxy to the next. Between the exchange of what? Energy. Between income, or if you will, input and output, the use of energy to experience what you experience, and then the waste. In other words, now it's gone. I was using energy in order to experience what I was experiencing. Now that I've got done experiencing it, now it's a waste product. So now we're into the exchange rate between input and output in a wastewater treatment plant, like the planet, between two poles, right? So you realize when it fell in spirit battle, the planetary software got hijacked in order to support a grid for somebody else. See? So that's why people shouldn't be surprised why it was at one time the oxygen content here was 21%, which is three, down to the last time I looked at the data, it was around 15 and a half. All you got to do is is do a search, look at the data on what happens when the oxygen content on a planet falls below a certain level. 
So now you sort of begin to realize why it is that the AI has it in its interest to kill off souls and spirits that are operating software equipment in which we breathe in and out. When a machine doesn't need to, does it? Like a bot. Right? Remember Patty showed one of those beans that I believe was uh, four poles? He said, uh, she said, yeah, you can throw this, you can throw this out of an airlock and it'll still survive. Doesn't need to breathe oxygen, right? So anyway, um, I thought I'd share that because it does have everything to do with torque speed, displacement, and water worlds. And what we call input-output and how fast we're getting rid of the waste or what's called how fast we're getting rid of the exposure, like biofilm exposure. How fast are we getting rid of the exposure of what we've been exposed to by what those do against us, right? That is preventing those from running a higher drive motor to get rid of it. Burn it off. Burn it off. Burn it off. Right? <laughs> So this is why they were saying one leads to self-destruction by choosing a material matter density pathway and choosing a spiritual pathway because spirits are teachers. So you can see when you look at the history, what did they do? They came in here and killed off all the spirits, the spiritual teachers. So from a galactic point of view, from a university campus point of view, you can see why that would be a horrific crime. Because even if you measured it on the solar system level and you wanted to measure it on the galactic level, and I mentioned this before, you get better security down here at a local school run by the cabal than you do on the galactic level. Because at least your children might come home safe. That's if they have a soul left. That's another measurement on a galactic and a universal multiversal scale. Multiversal scale. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to make that kind of a measurement if you weren't ability to have the ability to make that kind of measurement based on what you are in energy, the level at which we operate at, right? So anyway, have a great day. Um, be good to yourselves. <laughs>